are the ingredients. One cup almonds. These are uncooked, unsalted, just from the earth almonds. I got them from uh, just a regular bag of almonds that you can get in Tesco. You will need an empty container that can fit about one cup of almonds. Oops! Everybody in! Everybody in! We're going to just rinse the almonds just real quick. Quickly drain them. Great. Put them right back in. Safely. And oh no, we're losing some. Woohoo! This has been um, water that's been boiled, so it's extra clean, extra filtered, but it's not hot. It's just cool. We're going to close the lid. And in 24 hours, our almonds will have sprouted. And then we'll make almond milk. See you tomorrow. Here are our almonds from yesterday. As you can see, the water's gotten a little bit cloudy. And there they are. I'm going to strain them. Give them a quick rinse. Here are your ingredients. You will need two cups of water in a blender, and on the side, you can, depending on how thick you want your milk, another two cups. Here, I have about a cup and a third. You will need, this is not an ingredient, but this is your materials. You will need a strainer. A cheesecloth is fine. This works really well. Um, some type of container to hold the milk that comes in. You will also need a sweetener, honey, stevia, and if you want to um, use a vanilla extract or an almond extract, that's fine. These are optional. Optional. Go, go, go. Add your almonds to the blender. You can put all four cups of uh, water in if you would like. I, I first blend this, and then I strain it, and then I blend it again. Here they are. Blend for about two minutes. All done. Two more things I need to add. Your milk carton. Wherever you're going to put your milk in later. And one more cup, and I'll show you after. First, we take our cheesecloth or whatever you have, and we pour just a little bit in. There we go. And some of it will strain. Let me show you what we've got so far. As you can see, there's a lot of pulp, and there's some liquid. Not too bad. So we have some milk coming out, and here's our pulp. Here we have about two cups of almond milk and our pulp. I'm going to add the rest of the water in. Give it a go. Okay, round two. Ciao!
one. About three and a half cups of almond milk. And here's the pulp. Now, don't get rid of this. There's a few reasons why. This is now a beauty product. Um, you can use it as a body scrub, a facial scrub, or you can save it. You can probably put this in the freezer and you can use it as, you know, almond flour. I've made biscottis from it. You can make cookies. You can make um, anything that you would use almond flour or substitute flour with. And this is just fine. If you want, I suggest if you want to cook with this, um, let it dry, maybe in the oven, and grind it up again to make it super fine. I didn't do that last time, but it still turned out pretty good. So, enjoy! Before we close, I just wanted to show you, besides my um, almond flour, my two other milks that I made recently. I believe this was hazelnut. So, a video soon will come to show you what to do with these. I think I'll probably make biscottis. But yeah, frozen. It stays good for a long time. So save them. starting to realize that I'm in the same outfit I just filmed <laughs> just filming a whole series of these I have been making my own nut milks now since I've moved to Malaysia um, I could not find uh, any almond milk or hazelnut milk I, in China I was able to find the oh, I loved hazelnut milk it was so delicious in the foreign markets I was able to find all these nut milks here, I can't find anything. And the soy milks are so full of sugar that I had nothing really to put in my coffee. <laughs> no. So I made my own. And I do the exact same thing every single time. It's so simple. You can use uh, this, these milks in cereal, in coffees, in desserts, and everything. Uh, whatever you would put milk in or whatever you would put your soy milk in or whatever you would put your almond milk in it's it's fine i think this is healthier um one of the reasons why i also stopped drinking a lot of the almond milks or a lot of the the, the bottled anything milk um one i don't really like animal milk but the nut milks has has something called um it's like a condenser it's a chemical that they put into milks to make it look thicker and recently I read that that can really mess up your digestive system and who knows what else it could cause any various kinds of cancer or whatever uh, so I just make my own now when you do make your own they tend to go like that they're not last they don't last very long so I I would say after a few days um, four or five days keep checking on it if you haven't used it up because it will spoil quicker because it's natural and it's real um, you can also freeze it if you if you think you're not going to use it all freeze some of it into ice cube trays and throw it in a you know one of your milkshakes or your smoothies that you make um, nuts are a great source of the proper proteins that you want uh, or as well as supplement other types of proteins there's many different types of proteins out there and if you just have animal protein you're missing out on all the other benefits that all the other proteins provide the only milk nut milk I didn't like was peanut milk it tasted like raw peanuts it was like really icky I felt like I needed to cook it so it could taste like peanut butter but then I don't know if that would work so i don't like that one maybe you'd like it um so i hope you enjoyed the video please hit like please leave a comment below if you want me to make something or if you're interested and in just like hey jenna do you know how to do this i'll figure it out i'll do it i'll try it so i hope you enjoy see ya Bye.